Welcome to the Empire, buddy. This is Rampain, and welcome back to my Western Roman Empire campaign for Roman Remastered, where we're going to continue where we left off from last time against some goddamn peasants, or a giant army of peasants led by my rebels, where we'll get to see if uh, this is going to survive. It really shouldn't. Oh my god. Like, I know I br it was brought up in the comments. I should have an army of, like, just generic peasants for shits and giggles in this, because... It's Rome. It's kind of hilarious just throw an army of peasants at people. And I've done that in my uh, Saluka Empire campaign. I did that. Um, but now we just get to see the uh, be on the returning end of that. <laughs> As I'm continuing just to just destroy the Western Roman Empire. Eastern Roman Empire, sorry. And turn them into rebels. And every time they turn into rebels, they just turn into these massive stacks of peasants. Which I still kind of find hilarious. Like, where are they getting all these people to just throw into peasantry mobs? Because... My god. Every single army, uh, because they have like, what, 250 units per? So it's like 5,000 guys god, per army. And it's like, Romans, we just every, 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 every time, just 5,000 men. Like, nope, we need to, to get victory. to the front. Grab your fucking pitchforks, let's Those go. Okay, that they is just sad, that they think they are our equals. Uh, oh, also, they might just have their shit burned, because they've got a, uh, ram and a siege tower. And do they have anything else over here? Uh, they have a siege tower. Those things might actually burn before they get to me. So let's see. I've got four decent units, three good units, and then a general's bodyguard versus thousands of peasants. Who do you guys think is going to win? So they have been doing so wonderfully, they have already lost 1,100 men before they even got to the goddamn city center. Congratulations. Uh, let's see, because this poor peasant unit is here. He's going to attack us. Break? Oh, actually, he's not breaking instantly. That is kind of surprising. You are. There we go. So that unit I can run down. Because, like, you guys should be breaking for me charging you, but they are not. Interesting. Oh, no, now there they go. Okay, start running them down. Because we just need to keep breaking them like this and then have my general run them down. They've already lost 2,000 guys. I'll get back over here. Get back here. Run these guys down. Run those guys down there. Because these units I'm not worried about. The peasants, I'm not worried about at all. The other guys, I might actually have to care about. Let's see, that's... Ah, that's actually a missile unit. Yeah, run him down. Oh, come back this way. This blob, I gotta be careful of. That's a lot of them. Let's kind of go back here. Wait a little bit longer. My towers are still doing a lot of damage. My god, look at me guys they've lost. They've lost so many in just the streets trying to get to me. Thank you, Roman MG turrets. Because, oh my god, they can do so much damage. Half their army is now dead. You guys are still trying to advance on us here with all these peasants. Just peasants, 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 peasants. I'll wait a little bit. I'll let you guys kind of try and fight us. As I should still be able to just destroy you guys with my cab and infantry. I guess bring you over here. Just try and break more of them. As soon as I get a massive chain round around here, you guys should be doing fine. Like, I'm curious how many kills you guys will get if I just throw you in here. There you go. Come on. None of them are train routing. This is kind of surprising. They still got 2,400 men. They're losing quite a bit. They're getting quite a few kills. Let's make sure we can try and run them down here. Yep, there you go. Keep running these guys down. So they don't come back. Go, go, go. Careful right around here. This area I'm still a little concerned about. That guy's fully surrounded. And just tanking on hundreds of peasants. Let's get my general back over here. I need to try and help out around here if I can. Try and get a ch chain route here. I think you guys want to break them. That's kind of working a little bit. Get out of there. Don't stay in melee combat there for very long. They may be peasants, but there are lots of them, goddammit. Oh my god, they actually fully killed that one unit. Why is it that my peasants never have this kind of morale? Like, seriously, when I have an army of peasants, you guys all die. These guys right here are fucking tanking them. Like, they are absolutely destroying my guys slowly. There you go. Come on, I want that chain route. There you go. There you go. That's what I want to see. Oh, some of them are not breaking yet, so General, get out of there. Don't want to be a bit too cocky. Because we have killed... 
most of their forces, but they still do outnumber me a little bit here, so need to be careful with that. So keep charging in and out there, my general, as my infantry is probably getting pretty tired by now with how many peasants they've slaughtered today. Seriously, what is with you guys? Just today, for some reason, you guys are being extremely, extremely resilient to my attempts to kill you. God, this really goes to show, like, what kind of damage these peasants can do when they actually have full upgrades. Like, I still don't think I'll lose. I don't... I shouldn't. But, like, my god. Focus this guy specifically. That's the general. That's the captain. I'm trying to keep charging into him as I can with my general here. There you go! Finally! That's the chain route I needed. Like, it took you guys forever to get there. Like, Jesus. My general himself got 1,000 kills. Two of my guys, my uh, better infantrymen, got about uh, three to 400 kills. Not bad, not bad. Uh, definitely doesn't add up to the fact that there was 5,800 casualties, though. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I actually did heal a little bit on every unit so I can retrain them properly. That's good. That's good. Because I was worried that you guys might actually be able to take this. I might need to get a little bit more in here for defense. If they're going to send, like, that actually took a little bit longer for me to take them out than I was expecting, honestly. And so maybe I'll get another one of the uh, better infantry units. Because don't attack me. Fuck! I'm going to lose this. They've got six armies like that. Ah, oh, damn it. Because I recovered quite... Like, it's just more peasants! It's just peasants! Oh no, okay, some of them have some other units, but they are really gunning for this area to get me out of here. I don't like that. Let's see, you guys are still sieging me here. Oh, I think we should be okay there. At least I hope so. Ah, oh, that is another family member, though. You're just a generic general. Also, I since I've been paying attention to this so often while trying to assassinate, um, are you actually a family member general, or are you just a generic general? That's my question. Because I know I've been dealing a lot with this recently, and I'm just curious if maybe he is not a noble. Like, let's see, this just says general. But here's his faction leader. Because I don't know if it makes that distinction in here, because I know you're the heir. Because I can find that out. Let's check. If you guys, if uh, those guys either become the heir, then it will take into consideration, and I will have to kill that other guy. But you guys should be able to very easily kill him. Walk on in there, exterminate that area. So let's see. So you still say general. You are now the factionary. Okay, so there is no distinction between that. It will just say general just generically either way. And so I will have to try and get rid of you as well. Because the faction leaders... I can, Actually, can I just move on up again? General. Oh, I don't have no movement. Damn it. I was hoping we could maybe move up here and just immediately kill the faction leader. Because it should just be... I'm going to leave Campus Lombardi... And Campus Franchi for sure, because I'm hoping that those areas won't have any more generals. I do have some guys around here I can try and assassinate with, like you. 4% chance. He's dead immediately. Okay, that's great. You don't have any of them, but I'll have you guys keep trying to get more of those guys here. Also, these guys are really unhappy, so repair that, please. And then try and get some more public order buildings, please. Try and do that. And then, how are we doing on just normal troops in general? I should try and retrain those guys. So stop recruiting so many assassins. Retrain those guys first. And then get more assassins after that. Try and do... Let's see. Because this army is not the best. I could have sworn I had another force that was going to be making their way back up here. Because I'm going to leave you guys alone down here for now in Taraco. I need to make sure I get everything set up properly. Who so like you guys are going to keep trying to assassinate this guy. As you've got like a 30% chance to kill him. Not, not bad. So I'll have you guys keep trying to kill this guy. And then I'll just have, basically just keep training on them, and then I'll try and just assassinate the faction leader here. As I really don't want to... If I take the city, that'll just make them end the hordes. And so I don't want to do that. Uh, you guys are siege... I don't care. I don't care if you're doing that. Medio Laudium. Uh, I could have sworn I was getting some more assassins around here, so I'll keep doing that. And then you're still trying to make your way up here to help out. So you keep making your way around there. Still hoping they'll ignore me around here, because you guys seem to be doing good for yourselves. Um, let's have you get... How much money is that going to give you? Ooh, yeah, 269. Grab that. You guys also grab that. Probably going to get a decent increase, too. Yeah, 155. There we go. 
I love how much money we're making right now. Also, I don't really need all these peasants in here anymore. Like, let's see, how are you guys without them? Yeah, you're, that did, like, nothing. So let's just disband you guys. Get rid of all of you. Since I don't need you there anymore to waste my money. Uh, you guys are blockaded, so that's why you're pissy. So let's get you to come over here and tell them to fuck off. You go back up towards Athens. I really don't like how I'm probably going to lose Iphis. I really don't want to, but I probably will. I'm going to have you get another one of these guys to kind of help out with that area right there. And then I'm probably going to get some more ships around here too to make sure they can't keep blockading me. So we'll probably have to come back for this area if I really want to. Because I want this area. This is a good area for money. And if I lose it, I'll make a little bit less around here, which I don't like. But also, they've got a lot of guys around here. But that's probably what I can do with like you guys. As I am slowly making my way over there. Let's see. Also, uh, withdraw from that just one second. I want to check and see if there are any mercenaries. There are none. So you guys should be able to very easily take Alexandria here. Damn it! Oh, that army's actually dead now. Fuck! I thought you guys were going to win that. Shit. Well, uh, okay. I'm now just making a lot more money. Okay. That's fine by me. And then some of Siege, Massalia. I know about that. Ah, oh, damn it. I was hoping you would win that. That's what else is. Worthy Life Ends, Diplomat. And then Enemy Army Runs. Okay. Fashion Announcements, New Family Member, and then Money. Okay, is there anything else I want to build right now? Because let's see, Londinium, you guys. Um, well, let's get the arena. I want to make sure you guys are still happy. And that's about actually all I have money for right now to build, which is okay. We're making a, a bit, which is good for us. Also, I need to make sure... I am trying to get a better navy up here so you guys are doing better on your own. I do need to put more money into here so you guys are doing a little bit better. Because right now, I need to replace more of those culture buildings. And then these areas I need to put a lot of money into since I just took them. Because I should be able to hold you, at least. Brigadalia. Uh, Brig yeah, Brigadala. Brigadala. Uh, you should be... I should be able to hold those areas. Also, can I get assassins over here? No. What building does that need around here? Because I want to get some. So that way I can... I think it's the forum. Yeah, form. So I'll try and get that next turn after you guys are done building that up. And then what we can do is we'll have it so those guys can go up here and we can just try and keep assassinating these family members around here. Because I don't think they have a family heir anywhere, do they? At your service. Like, let's have you kind of go around over here. At your service. And I don't think I saw... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I thought I saw somebody else up above the city that I just couldn't see initially. So that might be the case. And then, did I just not have any other assassins around here? No, I didn't. Okay, well, you guys try and train what you've got around here. And then, honestly, just demolish their crap here. Demolish that. And just anything else that's a culture issue. Well, some of them. At least that one. That temple I'm going to be replacing either way, for sure. So, repair those buildings. We'll deal with that next turn. When I've actually got some money. Ah, oh, damn it, Vandals! <sighs> okay. You wanted to be my allies for so long, and now you're just attacking me here. They have a lot of archers. I can maybe hold this. We'll see what we can do. We'll try and do as much damage as we can. They have just a captain. i pretty sure I have stone walls here. And so they should be able to take a quite a bit of damage. I hate that I have no cap here. But what do they have trying to get onto the walls? Because I might actually want to hold the walls with this force. They've got a decent amount of cow, and then most of their infantry is actually archers. So if they have a bunch of ladders and stuff like that, I might actually be able to easily just hold them up there. That could maybe work. That can maybe work. It depends on what you guys have, though, this question. Because, let's see, like, you guys have... Ah, oh, they've got ladders, siege towers, and ramps. Fuck, okay. Uh... is though again you got these like horde spearmen like this is probably gonna get to the walls this is probably gonna burn I'm gonna I'm gonna try and hold the walls let's try and do that we'll try and hold the walls because I think I might do better on the walls than I would in the city center maybe because of their archers if they only can go up onto the walls then I have a better chance of dealing damage to them than unless, uh, in, as opposed to letting them go to the city center and just being able to freely shoot me. Like, that's one thing I'm kind of concerned about. I'm just going to hope that this burns. Please burn that siege tower. 
because the ladder's here. And you the guys, at the walls, but uh, you should be firing at will. Guard that position and then just hold what you can, guys. Because they might waver here. Oh man, I'm already losing quite a few bit of guys. They just try it. I have to hope they break. Uh... The enemy towers have reached the walls. <laughs> nope, my guys are just being kicked off the walls. Ah, oh, damn it. I probably should have held this reason. And life. he fell off the wall as well. Ah, oh, damn it. His men may soon be bird food. I was hoping you guys maybe would have done a little bit better, but I have barely killed 200 of them. Ah, oh, shit. I probably should have just fallen back to the city center and let the towers do their thing. I, I, I always forget that in Rome, it is very likely to be kicked off the fucking walls in a this is Sparta moment. And so defending walls is extremely difficult in Rome. Ah, uh, well, it's a horde army. It's fine. I'm going to have to come back and take this back anyways. As long as you guys don't just settle there, please don't. Go try and fight uh, the Sarmatians and everything. Yeah, try and do that. Hi, Eastern Let Rome. What's up? Talk Ceasefire? Reasonably. Sure. Our thanks. Do you want trade? A most generous Will you accept proposal. an alliance with me because I don't want to fight we you see anymore? No benefit to us. It would stop me from fighting you guys. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they did just burn Massalia. That's okay. As long as they don't take, like, Mediolatium and everything like that, we should be okay around here. You guys, I can actually take most of these guys now. And we'll kind of leave, like, those guys, those five. That's going to basically kind of be the main minimum army I have in some cities, depending on what the size they are, uh, to defend it. So you guys can do that. Get this forums for some more trade. Yeah, 127. Also, before I forget, I should make sure I grab the one in Carthago Nova. Grab that there so that I can actually group assassins around there. But I think I saw... Yeah, no, there it is. Okay, that's probably the air. Yep, that's the faction air. Okay, so they've got this general, this general, and then this general. So I have to assassinate these three guys. If I assassinate these three... Okay, two. Two left. Uh, then, the Sarmatians should be dead. And then I can just freely walk back in and take uh, Traco back. So we'll have to try and send some more guys over there if I can. Uh, you guys... How much is that pork going to give? 144. Yep, grab that. You guys focus on uh, public order, so get more of the temples. And then you guys keep sending these assassins over this way. Actually, what do they have over here? General. I see just the one general and the faction leader. Let's try and have you guys go assassinate him. Who shall die this day? Oh, there's another one. That's why. That's the heir? No, that's just another general. Why do you... Come on, man. Who shall die this killer? That's a little awkward. Okay, so he's glitched. Uh, that's fine. Uh, let's see. You guys can get more assistance. You guys here. Should I recruit another unit? No, I think we're okay. Just keep trying to send those assassins up. You guys need to keep... Oh, they're now out. For some reason, you guys just aren't. There we go. Yeah! Nice! Okay, so he's dead. That means that they are no longer sieging me. Uh, get these guys out of the city. That's beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. This is working out well. Wonderful. So, you are now the heir. I don't see anybody over there. Okay, so. You guys here. 24% chance. 10% chance. You are one of my guys with six. Let's see, you've got one, six, three, and two. Honestly, I'm tempted to see. Okay, so if you can kill him. Ah, nope. You missed him. If you guys can assassinate him, I can just straight up walk up, take this city, because I have some siege equipment. Damn it. That was one of my good ones. And then the Franks will be eliminated. Ah. Okay, so let's see. What I can do... Everybody else, I'm going to hope, has enough movement for this. What do you guys have here? They've got four guys there. Let's take you. Siege that for a second. Then I think what we'll do is take you guys. Are there any mercenaries around here? 
There are some mercenaries around here. Okay. What is in that army? At your service. Moving. So steal Hirban. Imperator. I think this will be enough. Because then I can have all of you guys over here. And then just bring those generals over next turn. Or not even next turn after this battle's done, because you guys should have enough movement. And I should be able to kill the Franks. Should. I have more cavalry than them here, so I should be able to kill off this general pretty easily. Then, I, I'm, I'm going to make sure I do the battle myself, unless the auto-resolve is so heavily in my favor with that faction leader of theirs. But the Franks should be dead. And that'll be another horde out of the way, and they can stop and just fuck off. Because my god, is it a pain in the this ass to try and continue to deal with armies that just keep spawning up. So uh, this can I get some better? Wonderful. That's probably about the best I'll get. I hope it is. Let's hope he doesn't. the general doesn't get away and I can actually just straight up kill him. So let's move my horse archers. I'm actually going to have you guys kind of group up here. All my melee cav back here. And then you just kind of sit there for a moment. And then I want you to run on up here. And I'm gonna have you try and just shoot the, the general's bodyguard. The infantry, I don't care about. And these are just infantry units, so I don't care about them. Guys, run away. Run away. And you guys just get ready to charge that general. You kind of run. Oh, they are breaking. That's great. Everybody just charge. There we go. He's dead already. Okay, that was faster than I was expecting. Okay, now can my horse archers come back? Because you guys just go... Just just attack those guys. Just keep... Just finish them off. I'll have my horse archers deal with them, and then if there's anything that's left of them... I think they're just running off the map. Yeah, they're just trying to run off the map. Let's just take my melee cap and run them down. So now... I should be able to, like, if, as long as he dies, and it is the last family member, which I think it is, the Franks should be dead, and I'll have another family faction out of the way. Then I can take all these assassins and send them down towards, um, Lombardy and the Sarmatians. Probably the Sarmatians first. The Sarmatians, the Lombardy is closer, but the Sarmatians, I think, only have those three, two, two family members. So as long as I can assassinate those guys, that's another horde that I can avoid. And then I'm probably going to start just mass-producing more assassins, and we'll probably just keep assassinating the Huns as well, get rid of them too. Oh, can you not move? Oh, you guys can't actually get over there. Well, I can do this, actually. Oh, no, you don't have enough movement. Damn it! Ah, oh, would you guys be able to... No, they don't have enough movement. Shit! Okay, because it's basically like everybody but... It's only the guys I just recruited can move over that way. Fuck. Because, like, you guys can make your way over here. Go up that way, guys. Uh... Are you going to spawn another general is the question. Do I push now? Go for the gold? Or do I... Okay, let's put you up there. I need every man that I can. Because I can get in here. It's just that general's bodyguard. Uh, well, okay, and I've got a good army here. These are some good units. They shouldn't die. Shouldn't. So let's do this. They do have this reinforcement. But I think we should be okay. I have no cavalry. I just have a bunch of infantry. Oh, God. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's do this. Go big or go home. If I wait one more turn, he will have a chance to spawn another kid, and I'm gonna hope nobody does, because I'd rather kill them off right now. It's a little risky, but if I do this, that'll be one more faction that I don't have to worry about, which would be great. I can just take their land and not care about them anymore. Ah, oh, I love my assassins. God, let's, oh, the they've got the stone. Are not favorable, but that is an excuse made by the weak and feeble. Uh, we are neither, and so face the day with calm hearts. <laughs> Units, oh, this is not good. Okay, so 
their reinforcements should be coming from over here. I'm going to meet them on the field of battle. I'm actually going to bring you guys over here and try and make sure that those reinforcements die. You need to break open a gate for us so we can run in. And then if I have enough ammo, I'll try and destroy a wall section. Or not wall section, the gates. Towers. Because right now, I really don't want to... Yeah, you guys run over here. Uh, I really don't want to have to deal with those towers, as I have no way to easily capture them myself. But now, these guys, I should be able to very easily kill you guys. The mercenaries golden. The mercenaries golden bed. These guys should be able to pretty easily die, especially since I've got much better troops than them. Uh, you guys... Kind of run there. And then these guys run there. Gods who fill the heart of the enemy general with fear. Uh, you're supposed to be shooting the, the gates. Like Not the towers, the gates. The gods be praised. I need a way in Enemy's first, guys. That's enemy not what I'm- I'm not trying to tell you to shoot the towers. Know their doom approaches. I'm telling you to shoot the gates. I think my onagers are being idiots. Like, I'm trying to tell you, shoot this wall. You are not shooting what I'm telling you to shoot right now. I need a section to open up so I can actually get inside. Otherwise, there's no point to this battle. So I'll shoot this area where I know they've got some units on the walls right now. Some of their archers. Please have enough ammo. Please have enough ammo. 60. I think you guys have enough. 56. 49. Worst case scenario, I can just run away and then we'll have to attack next turn. Come on, I need a section destroyed. Come on, come on, come on. 20. 17. I'm almost out of ammo. 6. Okay, good. We can at least get in the city. Use the rest of your ammo to try and destroy some of the towers, please. Because I really need at least one of these towers destroyed so it's not going to absolutely just wreck me. And we're out of ammo just before I destroy one. Okay, um, this is going to be the fun part, because I have to take the walls. I might try and run this way, because right now, let's do this. You go run over here, I'll send one of you at a time. Everybody else, I'll wait, because these are my good units. I'll have you guys kind of casually walk over this way. Same with you. I need to get the towers first, so let's kind of run up here. Run onto this section. I'll have you be the sacrificial lamb to try and get those towers open. Go, 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 man. Onto the walls. Onto the walls. Onto the walls. Stop. Just stand in there and get onto the walls. Onto the walls. Oh my god, you guys are being idiots. Please. Please. Get onto the walls, you idiots! <sighs> okay. Here's one attempt. Let's try one more time with a different unit. So I just need you guys to get onto the walls. Come on. Come on. There you go. <sighs> Good. Now, you run along and capture some more towers for me, please. Because, at the moment, I've only got one. And I need at least a path to the city center. So I need to at least get a couple of these. How are you guys falling off the wall that direction? How? Oh, maybe I should just run. These guys have got some decent armor. If I run this way, I think I might be okay. Let's try it. Because I really want this city. So just run along this way. Because I've at least got one of the towers de deactivated. I can try maybe tell one of you guys to get up here. I'll tell one of you. Everybody else just try and run this way, away from the towers. Come on. Oh, you guys came back! Oh ho! Activate the towers, you idiots! You guys kind of just get over here. Wait. Just wait. I need to be careful, because I need to make sure that I'm not going to lose my guys to the general. So, you guys will have fire at will on, but we need to wait a little bit, as I need to kill you. That general's bodyguard has to die. And I need to make sure you guys don't break when I advance. 
Okay, you guys are kind of recovering, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly move one guy at a time up closer until we can hit them with our ranged attacks. And then we will hopefully be able to kill the general. So just keep taking guys that are in the back, moving them up to the front until we can shoot them. Because I need is I don't care about the taking the city really. I just care about killing the general and trying to lure you guys out of the city. There you go. And then I need you guys to be on guard position. And everybody focus this fucking bodyguard. You should be able to kill him. As long as he dies, we've won. Come on. He's at 53. Blast that horn, man. Everybody... Yes, he's dead! So, the Franks should be eliminated now. There should be nothing left of the Franks after this. I hope. So now we just need to push in here. Capture the city for us. Come on. Why can't you... Oh, you need to get off the walls. Oh, he's off the walls. Why oh, yeah, didn't you guys attack? Oh, you guys are. Okay, everybody just advance forward, push through them. There's not that many of them left. They've got about 200 guys left, and also with them trying to push out of the city center, they just keep breaking. There we go! So, as long as they don't have any other family members, the Franks should be dead. And I'm really hoping they are. Come on, I want to see that achievement that they're dead. <laughs> Come on, give me that fucking achievement. The one time I want achievement hunt is when it tells me that I'm succeeding and killing off factions. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, they're dead. Franks have been destroyed. All right, awesome. That's awesome. So now, also, I need to actually demolish uh, this. And then I need to get... There it is, Soul Invictus. And then let's just lower the taxes here. Because there we go. They are dead. I might actually take Campus for, uh, for, uh, Frankie now that it's just a bunch of rebels. As uh, that'll just be another way to have a bit more money. And this will be about as far as I go to the north, I'd say. Because I'm actually still allied with you guys, right? Uh, no, I'm neutral with you now again. Of course. Well, please just leave me alone. <sighs> I still have to deal with the Franks, the Vandals at some point. Oh man, I could, I could straight up almost finish this campaign today if I wanted. Depends on how I want to do this. Because if I want to make sure that I'm going to hold things after I'm done, then I'd want to wait a little bit longer. But I see Taraco and uh, Constantinople, and Constantinople is controlled by the Vandals now. I'm, I'm going to start gathering a force together. We'll start gathering a force together here. You know, I want to make sure the army we use to take Constantinople is one of my best. I think that's what I want to do, so we'll try and grab... I think some of you guys are really good for that. They're kind of just very different variations on the unit type on what they're doing. Oh, the armor-piercing primary weapon. That's you guys. You guys don't have that. Honestly, I should just keep using this guy then. Honestly. Like, I want to use maybe some of these guys. These are just spearmen. Oh, they can make shield wall. Ooh. Defense is the same. I think melee attack is a little bit lower. No, it actually would be better just use those guys. Okay, well, we're going to worry about that later. I'm going to have you make your way up over here to Campus Frissy. Uh, Frankie, sorry. Uh, you guys take that, and basically, this is as far as I'm going. Like, these lands, I just need to make sure I can hold them secured, and they're good. Like, you just have a general there, one general. You shouldn't be able to push in there, really. You shouldn't be able to. Um, let's make sure you have some guys here just to help watch over that city there. These guys will need to get some units like that again eventually, but right now, I just can't. Um, actually, I should probably maybe get some of you guys. Well, they have more ammo than that, actually. These guys are slightly different. Different, better, actually. These guys are a little bit more expensive, technically, too. Hmm. For defenses, they're not necessary, but for an actual force, the Pumbatari are actually probably better. So we'll have to get them at some point. Um, let's kind of go about, and let's see, for buildings, I do need to make sure I'm kind of focusing on some stuff up around here first. It's so like you guys, I know I have quite a bit of things you can grab. Um, let's focus on this uh, scriptorium. Let's grab that. That should get rid of some corruption, I'm assuming. And then also some more public order. And then just get some more peasants. Get some more peasants to watch over that area a little bit. And then let's see what we can do for just recruitment in general. No, sorry, building in general. Um, Carthage. Ooh, Carthage is making quite a bit. Let's have you get uh, the Sol Invictus Temple. Man, you make a lot of money. 
there's no corruption there, and that's about as much I can do for actually improving your economy. But I'll just get you guys that for some more public order. And then, is there anything else I can get? Um, Salona. I can get the farm. Grab the farm there, I'd say. And then also, I do need to make sure I remember to move all of you guys down this way. Let's have you guys go group up in Medioladium. Group up down here, and then we'll have you guys focus on a new target. As now that we have eliminated the Franks, I need to start trying to eliminate other factions. So you guys... Honestly, I'll have you keep training on these uh, rebels for now. And success. Yeah, so I'll have you guys train on these uh, rebels for a little bit. And then I'll bring you guys down over... You've already done your stuff. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll bring you guys down towards down here. Um, and actually, you... Oh yeah, I forgot about that, because these guys became rebel. Um, I'll have you and that other force focus. Actually, what is this force for? That's crap. Can you win that with an arms off? I'll have you trying to go over that way. You can probably grab some more mercenaries for there, but I'll have you guys kind of push up you and you, and basically I'll try to grab uh, these guys as well, and most of these guys too. And I'll bring them over to the west. Basically, we'll make sure that we can take Campus Frankie, and then I'll just start pushing down here, take this land back, and then I think by the time I get over there... Ooh, Merkin, actually. What are you doing? What are you making, man? Maybe make, like, 57 there. Sure, do that. Um, basically, just trying to gather those forces together. Bring them over to the west. Also, do I want to take Campus Frissy back? This is the me actually seeing it proper this time. Fuck off, Huns! Ah, uh, they said they wanted a piece, and then they just want to be dicks. Now... I can't win this. There are 12,000 goddamn peasants. We'll try and fight it. Just because I know if I sit in the city center, they will lose a ridiculous amount to towers. And so we'll do that at least. It's better to do that than just take the auto resolve and not kill as many as we should. They are going to take it. I will probably abandon this area now, actually. It's not worth it to kind of be in Anatolia, and I think we'll just ignore it. I'll make a little bit less money in Athens, yes, but I can maybe take it back at some other point if they weaken themselves around here, but I don't know if they will, because they've got so many peasants, and when they decide to put their mind to it and send them at one spot, they can actually do quite a bit. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Also, there's gates, are, the walls are already destroyed for the sap point they had last time. I think this is one of the first times I've seen this game lag a little bit when they've got this many men on the map. So we are going to have to try and at least fight back these uh, Equites. Hope they will break. Actually, okay, they are breaking almost immediately. Good. Because I really need that right now as they have so many guys. <laughs> they've lost about 500 already to towers. Uh, if it can keep up like that, maybe we do have a chance. I have like no units. I shouldn't survive this, but it gives me some false sense of like, we are not doing that bad so far. Against their Cav, we're doing okay. We are surviving. Uh, I'm a little worried about this Horse Archer here, as I'm about to actually straight up charge that without support of my allies. Uh, and they are starting to get more of them, because as they come in one by one, it's okay. It works. We are able to deal a decent amount of damage and break them. But as they bring more guys in here, that's where I get a little bit more concerned. That they might... Oh, there's some little bit more damage there. Come on, General. Don't die yet, man. We need to hold out as long as we can, just so the MGs can do as much damage as possible. Oh, they are, you are so dead. Yep, there he goes. Oh, god damn it. Okay, well, now we just wait and see, because they did lose a good chunk just to the towers. I was hoping we could maybe survive a little bit longer, but they lost about 25% of their forces to the towers? That's not bad. One whole stack of dude tier lost their lives like we, let's just look at the look at the streets look at them here just just all these peasants just sitting here dutifully sitting here to die by the mg towers oh i love it i absolutely love it because you didn't need to lose as many men they, they could have easily destroyed me with just the cab never brought in any of the peasants and had the same outcome but nope, they decide to push in, and they're probably going to lose even more still. Like, they're losing still at a pretty good rate. I've got 20 guys left, probably not going to last all that much longer. But I would love... Oh, there. 
Damn it, I was hoping we'd maybe get a little bit more. So many L uh, under 70%. No purpose. But from this, victory but yeah, 3,700 casualties. Not that bad. Not that bad. Generally got 156. Ah, <sighs> you will be well remembered, my man. You did well in defending this city. You did as you held it for as long as you were able. We'll try and get some reinforcements over here, possibly, if I want to reclaim this. But I don't need to. That's the thing. I don't need this piece of land if I really don't want to. I think, honestly, the stuff that Eastern Rome controlled in, uh, in Greece is about all I really want from them. And so I don't really think I'm going to go take that city back. I'm... Because I might. Because, like, how much of that... Do you, oh, man. That really decreased the amount of money I make around here. Yeah. I was making about... Oh, actually, you are also blockage. Let's uh, first get rid of that first. Uh... Okay, uh, you can still recruit those while we're blocking though, I believe, so try and get some more ships around here as I do need to make sure that this area is protected. You guys keep trying to do that. You guys are trying to go over here. I am going to be trying to gather a force over there to try and take that back. Because, can you guys just leave these two here? Not really, not right now. You're pretty young. Let's have you govern this area. Is it happy? No, it's not. Uh, Assassin ready. let's see, is there anything else I can maybe bring up there? Because I can bring, like, two of you guys up here, and then one of you here. I think this is the 60. We're going to have to wait. So, let's bring you guys back over this way. I'll move out in a second. I'm probably going to have to rebuild some of this stuff first, because the main reason they are unhappy is cultural penalty, unrest, and distance to capital. So, I want to get rid of things that are contributing to the public order penalties, and so if there's anything that I can actually grab that's going to convert straight over to my stuff, we'll do that. Because, like, right now, we can grab... Let's grab this. Uh, that'll take three turns to get. It'll get rid of some public order penalties due to the culture, and then also I'll be able to actually get a little bit more from that, so do that. You keep making your way over here, because I'll have you and you make your way over here. And go over and take Campus Frissi. I probably will also... Uh, God damn it. Campus Frankie. And then I probably will go over here and take Campus Frissi back, honestly. It, it'll it just boost the amount of money I'm making around over here. So I might as well go take it back. So we'll do that at some point. You guys here just need to keep training on these uh, captains here. Keep trying to do that. Slowly but surely. I was hoping you guys would stop dying to them. As I'm trying to train you all around here. So keep trying to train on these guys before I send you down to Lombardi. And then you guys here. I've got another one that can try. Slowly but surely, we'll just keep assassinating this army to death. It would take me so long to kill them all, though. Because, like, what? There's... I'm just going to guess 2,000 there. Even five guys... Uh, even these four of you who keep killing a guy every turn. It'd take 500 turns to kill that army. Uh, but all of you guys keep training until... Oh, you're actually... Oh, you're at 8 already. Romulus the Killer. I should probably send you down here right now, honestly. You are already really good at what you do. So I'll send you over this way. Uh, that's a diplomat. Sure, go train off him. 64% chance to kill him? Good job. So make your way back over here. And then let's see if I had another one. Make your way over here. And then let's keep seeing if you guys can keep being lucky. Because you guys have actually been doing a pretty good job. Pretty good job. Until then. Until this guy. Uh, you you were doing very well assassinating members of the Sarmatian family. Until those two. <sighs> I was hoping you were going to be able to do a little bit longer, but nope. Let's see. Uh, Tarentum. Can I get anything here for you guys, really? I can get the... Get the temple, at least. Mediolatium. Um, let's grab the farm. Careless. I'm going to have you grab the academy, we'll say. And then you guys can't really get much around there. That's fine. Let's see what we got going over here. And I'm trying to report. Oh, I forgot to check a couple of these. For the most part, we're doing fine. We're doing fine on money. I'm making a decent amount now, at least. And we did have some trade increases. Good. Because that was uh, you. And then there was also this guy. Oh, it's the same one? I selected different people. Who shall die oh, did the other guy die? Wait, what? Assassin okay, I don't know what's going on there. It's not clicking to a different person. Okay. Um, you guys still seem to not be attacking us just yet there. Thank you. I want to make sure you guys can hold off there as long as possible. And I'll probably start slowly gathering a force around uh, Serum. 
and Thessalonica that I'll use to go take Constantinople, but we're going to wait on Constantinople. Right now, this area, just hold, and we're primarily focusing on the western portions of our domains right now. That's kind of the goal right now. Because right now, we really want to take some of these rebel settlements around us here, and then just build them up more. And then basically just continue that path westward into uh, Iberia, as we really do want to reclaim that. I will take you. And you are currently... Where the hell are you? Oh, you're right up here. Uh, sure, you can stay there as being that governor. So the siege... Still siege me there. What do I have for a force there? Did we get the stone walls there yet? We did! Okay, so this is actually not that bad of a force. Those are just all horses, too. So if you guys don't have any good uh, siege equipment, you're actually not going to be able to get in there. Now, you guys are attacking us here. Which I don't like, so we'll try and gather some men around here to watch over there. And then I do need to keep bringing these assassins here. So let's have you... Yeah, let's keep trying on the general. Yeah! Nice job, man. Okay, so you got him. And then, um... 26% chance. Yeah! Now, is this the only faction leader? Because that's all their family members that I see. Unless they have another army somewhere else that is their heir. Because you guys might be down just to this one guy. And I'm going to hope that's the case. If it is, awesome. So I can keep bringing you guys over this way. Um, and then I think I need to get another force around here that will go back and reclaim Massalia. Which I'll have that be from around here. So let's gather some more guys around here. Probably don't need all that much, honestly, but I can have you guys make your way over there. Uh, you guys go siege Campus Frankie. And then just wait until those reinforcements get over here, which they are... Three turns away. Three turns away for them. Honestly, I might give you some of these guys. Yeah, let's give two of those to you, and then you're down. Oh, you're not down any men. Okay, then I'll screw you guys up here. Are you still over encumbered in that? Uh, let's just merge those two. I'm trying to merge those men together if I can. Let's merge you and you. I'm trying to. I want to merge you two. I hate that I can't just do the drag and drop merge. Okay, do that. That's good. There you go. So yeah, just keep building this area up a little bit. Keep your training those units if you can. And I'll have you guys leave here soon. I'll keep trying to build up what I can around here because I need to get that Sol Invictus thing there. Keep focusing on public order around here, as I really want to build these areas up and make sure I don't have to worry too much about them. As I really want to focus on our economy around here. Oh good, they stopped attacking us here. Okay, so retrain those guys. And then let's keep focusing on, um... Yeah, keep focusing on the temple. No, actually, uh, the forum. Keep grabbing that, as I want to just max out our trade around here. As we are making quite a bit of money now. And that's going on there right now. Eastern Roman locks a lot of ally together. And you're a murderer. Good, good. Yeah, because keep just bringing all these assassins over this way. You, since you're such a good dude, I'm going to bring you over here. Because if this is their last family member... Oh, 20% chance. Yes. Romulus the killer. Have at him, my man. Because I would love if you can finish them all off. Then, once, because once they're done, I can have all my forces move over here. Once we have secured Iberia... All we have to do is take Constantinople. Wow, this campaign is way closer to finishing than I thought it was. Although I think with how uh, things are going at this rate, it's probably still going to take us until about maybe video 20. This is 18 right here. So I still think it's going to be a couple videos until we're done. Oh, I don't like that. Can you stop making your way over there, please? Does I still just see faction leader? No, they have another general here. I can't actually reach out right now. So, let's destroy the faction leader. Just missed him. Because I can't actually get close enough to try and assess the other guy. You had a 13% chance. Oh, you almost had him there. Uh, nobody else around here. Because we're just trying to see if we can kill you guys right now. Because I've got a good garrison around here, so I'm not too worried about you guys attacking me here. I actually kind of welcome it. It'll make it a bit easier to finish you guys off. Um, let's keep getting some more of the ports there. And then I think you guys here. Let's see how many men do they have in there? That's, eh, that's like eight units. You've currently got eleven in here. So can I just leave this peasant here? March. Yeah, the peasant's fine. Um, just leave them. You guys go over there, start sieging that, and you'll be able to take it back pretty easily. You guys, I should also build some wall watchers around here, just because I don't have a uh, complete vision around these areas. 
You guys keep making your way over there. I might actually leave Campus Frisky just so I don't have to deal with you guys. I really don't want to deal with Eastern, uh, the Western Roman Rebels right there. You guys, let's kind of retrain your stuff. And then repair those walls and keep building stuff up. Because I want to make sure that these areas are doing well for themselves. Because it's weird that these areas don't have to worry too much about rebellions anymore. Like, so far, a lot of my areas are doing well in that regard. I like that we've kind of quelled a lot of the rebellions. It's now just trying to work towards our final... Awesome. Our final goal of taking out... I need to save up for that. Taking the last settlements we need. Like, we have to clear out Iberia of the damn Huns. We need to do that. Which, you guys here next turn, I can start trying to pump out some assassins here. And try and see if you can kill the family members that they have around here. And thankfully, they're still kind of... Like, these areas down here are still doing okay. Although, eh, some... I, I would love if I didn't have to have so many guys down here for the public order. Because right now, this is not the best... It really isn't. I would love to be making a little bit more money here instead, because I made 811, and I'm pretty sure that I've used that all up. Like, these guys are about four, or 500, we'd say. Another 200 there. Yeah, we definitely lose money on this. Oh, especially with these guys. Can I get rid of you? Yeah, I can get rid of you guys, and they'll be happy, because right now, these guys do not provide any benefit to us here. They make it so we have a net negative here for our income, so I might as well. And then I think that's it for this turn. Who shall die? Well, you guys can keep me in your room here. As I really want to see if we can kill Lombardi. They are so close. I just hate that they have so many armies, so they keep spawning more random-ass generals. Although, at least my assassins are pretty decent, so they have been killing them off pretty quickly. Is this a spawning assassin? Die? That is an assassin. That guy should actually be making his way over here as well. You, you, and then these guys. Oh, those rebels moved away. Oh, no, they just went right here. Okay. Keep trying to practice on these guys, and then I'll probably move some of you guys out soon. Some of you. Oh, you're, you're still at one for your skill. You're also at one. Oh my god, some of these... And he died. Okay, I'm not surprised. Oh, you're at eight. Tertus the killer. I don't need you to train on that guy. You can just make your way down here immediately. Moving to position. Okay, and then... In after report. Yes, I know, I know. I'm working on it. We are spending as much money as we can to develop our lands, but it's still not enough. Oh, so I need Dear friend. Alliance and they want some money? Sure. Get us to stop that war with the Vandals for a little bit. Because I really want to just have them fuck off for now. Because I don't want to worry about the East right now until we figured out all everything in the West. Hi, Huns. Can you not... I'm trying to keep you self-contained to Iberia, and then I have to take this shit back from you guys. Let's see, Rome, <laughs> a bunch of generals again. Uh, honestly, I should probably bring you guys back up towards this army here. Why not? Because you guys go siege right there, maintain that siege, and then you... Just make sure you're going over towards that army again. Killer waiting for now let's... Killer waiting for orders. Six, 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 six. Who shall die I'm curious. This day. Faction leaders right there. The general's the one leading the assault. And then there's just more generals here again. Let's focus on them. He's dead. I love how you guys have such a great chance to kill the normal generals, and just the faction leader just always gets away. Like, come on. You guys just need to kill him. Just stab him. Oh my god. Just keep making your way over here. I'm gonna have all of you keep making your way to this guy. Keep trying to kill him. Because we might be able to kill him before I'm done for today. Because I want to maybe do another turn or two as these turns are going by fairly quickly as we really don't have to worry too much right now in the east and it's just us like reclaiming this piece of land trying to claim this piece of land and then just building these areas up we might have a battle here or here if you guys actually assault me uh come on you have to attack me don't just starve me out you assholes i really hope they won't do that uh, and you guys did that just before I was able to get some assassins around there. Damn it. But, you know, I'll just bring you guys all down here. I'll just throw you to the wolves. Why not? Make your way over there. You, you, and... Oh, you didn't move. Go over here. And then this guy. And I think that's good enough for our assassins right now. I don't think we need to recruit any more. That's good, good, good. Yeah, that's all of you. Okay. So you guys are good there, and then let's just go around again for buildings. Carthage. Carthage like practically has like nothing to build anymore. Like I don't even know if I really need to do much around here. You guys can get a better farm in Rome. 
Um, Londinium, I think you guys should get the better. Amphitheater. Salon. Oh, I want that. Mo oh, wait. I need to remember. Stop that. Need to grow this first. I forgot that that city could grow, so we want to do that first and foremost. That is more important. Uh, you also need to make your way over here, man. Like, I really want to just see, like, if you get in here, can you kill the faction leader? Because you are so close. Same with you. Oh, two of my killers are almost here. Yeah, you guys can get there next turn. Like, if you can take out that faction leader, we might just straight up be done with them. Maybe. Depends. Depends if you guys are going to let me do this. Anvil died, and another character came to change. Yeah, he was in Rome. I already moved him. Yes, yes, I know. We're trying to improve our money. We're trying to improve our financial situation so I can actually build up everything that I want to build up. Because I haven't been able to actually get a good stockpile of money. I've been using it every single turn. Okay, you guys keep making your way over there. Oh, what the hell? Why is that smoking? Why? Like, is that a new effect for devastation? Or is there something going on around here? I don't see anything. Interesting. And you broke my lines again? Stop that, please. Oh, it's an earthquake. Disaster cost a lot. No! I lost an assassin because of that. Assassin. I guess they changed the effect for the earthquake. Before it used to be, like, metal as shit. Uh, oh, you can't get him. Damn it. Okay, now let's see. So, first and foremost, you are going to try in the faction leader. 16% chance. Ah, oh, you missed it. Okay, you missed him. And do you have enough movement to it? get to him? No, you don't. Okay, I'll have you stab this guy. Okay, so he's dead at least. Let's see, I do need to get rid of this guy here. There goes him. Now, the only one left is the faction leader. Yep, that's that. That's it. Just the faction leader. He is the only one left. And so now, honestly, just like one more turn in and I can try and assassinate him and see if he'll die. Because if he does, ooh. I've got like two of my really good assassins over here and if they aren't able to kill him, I'm actually going to be surprised. I've also got a bunch of random ass dudes that can try as well first. See if they'll be able to succeed. Uh, you can finally siege this area here. I think you guys can probably just assault this now with you guys here. Like, they got a bunch of peasants. Yeah, it's pretty good. It should be fun. Okay, exterminate that area. And then let's uh, kind of merge those guys back together. Uh, repair all that stuff. Oh, are you guys pegging? Yeah, they are pegging right here. Um, we are going to have to destroy this and get our own. Get rid of that. And then build up the Soul Invictus one. And we need to lower the taxes here. This area is going to be a little unhappy for a little bit. And so we'll have to just slowly kind of get them back into our side. Because it's mainly cultural penalty is the issue. So, we'll try and convert over as many buildings as we can to make them a little bit happier. Uh, and I'm probably going to give like, a couple of these units over to you. There we go. So, that way they're at least happy. And then you guys I'll have come down over here to kind of help out with Massalia. Yeah, just go down this way. Go down the way to help out down there. Because you guys are still waiting for this area to be happy so we can actually leave around here. Because I'm really trying to pump up as much money as I can into these lands so that they can develop a little bit faster. So you guys can try and keep doing that. Uh, you guys need that mine. You guys need to get that mine. And is there anything else I want to build right now? And then we're going to do one more end turn, and I want to see. Can we get rid of the um, Lombardies? I'm hoping we can. I'm really hoping we can. But we might not be able to. I want to at least just try at least one more turn just to see if that's going to be a case. Because if I can get rid of them and have killed off two factions today instead of just one, ooh, that will be great. That will be absolutely great. So let's see. You guys, I know Resistance Mutile. I know you're still sieging me. You're still just sitting there. Honestly, I might just let them fucking take the city. Because I could try and sally out, which I've got three turns. I'll probably if, if they don't attack in two turns, I'll sally out and see if they'll just fuck off. Uh, no, this is the moment of truth. Are we going to be able to kill Lombardi? Damn it! Don't interrupt me! I want to... Because mm. <sighs> I'm going to want to fight this. Damn it! Okay. Because this is also my faction air. So I will probably actually then leave this for today. We'll be done for now. We'll try and see if we can kill Lombardi in the next video, as I know we're close to killing them off, and I should be able to. But I want to try and defend this, as they've got a lot of cav. 
And so we might get lucky and have... You know what? Let's just try one damn thing. This may... Okay, fuck it. We're gonna go fight this. Because this might actually... Now that I see how many cab units they have. I might get lucky and they might not be able to actually get their cab inside. Because it, depending on what they bring forward. Because they don't have a lot of infantry. I might be able to absolutely destroy this army uh, relatively quickly. So we'll try it. Fuck it. This is going to be a little bit over an hour for the video, but I think it's okay. I want to see if Lombardi's going to die, and I might be able to do this quickly. Maybe, maybe not. Because the real question is... I'm sorry, man. You need to shut up. <gasps> it's just a ram! Fuck yes, it is going to be over practically instantly. I don't, I'm not even moving my armies. This ram is not going to get to the walls. They only brought a singular ram because they only have a singular infantry unit. And the rams never make it to the walls. <laughs> okay, so we do get to go over to Lombardi and see if they're going to die or not. I'm, I'm thankful for that. I, I was so annoyed that they might have just interrupted my flow of the video. But they didn't. We can get out of here, get through this quickly, as long as they don't attack the other city. Please don't. Let me get back to my turn. Let's just try those assassinations. And see... Okay, good. Can we kill you guys off? They spawned another general. They did. So... I want to save you guys for the the faction leader. So you... This is target. So everybody that's not my main dudes... So you're all going to try and kill him. Because you've all got okay chances there. He's dead. Okay, now... Everybody else is going to try and assassinate the faction leader. If we can kill him... Okay, it's the first dude. First guy that tries to kill him. But hey, Lombardi's dead. Fuck yes. I killed off two factions today. Now all that you guys can do is everybody's going to be coming down here. And in the next video, we'll be trying to kill off these Sarmatians. Once the Sarmatians are dead, we are then going to be trying to quarantine and isolate out off the Huns and kill them. Because as soon as I've gotten rid of them, my western side of my empire is completely secure. And I can just spend money to improve it. And that is all it has to be. Then we just need Constantinople. So we are very close to finishing this campaign off. It just depends on how long it takes us to deal with the Huns. Which, the Huns, I know their military has, been go has gone down since they took a city. Yeah, like their overall ranking has been... Really bad. So it might be pretty easy to kill them. Yeah, they've got that one city right now. And it'll be like one more turn and I'm probably going to sally out of you guys here. But I'm going to be done for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, maybe like, comment, and or subscribe. If you guys did not, please let me know why so I can try and improve. Also check out my Discord. It's a great way to interact with the rest of my community and get updates on videos. Additionally, there are plenty of other ways to continue to my channel in the description. So you can check that out. This is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.